we can use conditional probability to determine if events are independent or dependent. So let A and B be, be events with the probability of A not being equal to zero and the probability of B not being equal to zero. If events A and B are independent, then the probability of event B given event A is the same as the probability of event B and the probability of event A given event B is equal to the probability of event A. And the second one here is just the converse. So use the test for independence. Let me zoom out a little bit. The table shows the table below shows the vehicles in a parking garage one afternoon. A vehicle in the garage will be selected at random. Let B represent the vehicle as black and V represent the vehicle is a van. Are the events B and V independent or dependent? So probability. Let's go ahead. We've got um, black vehicles, vans, and let's do the union of both. So probability of a vehicle being black. So that's going to be the total number of black vehicles. All over the total number. So black vehicles, here's black. And I have 13 out of 22 in that parking garage are black. Probability of it being a van. So that is going to be um, the number of vans. All over again, the total number. So vans here, I have three in the parking garage out of 22. And now let's find the probability of a vehicle being black and a van. So we are now looking at black vans. All over again out of the total. OK, so vans black. Here's three out of 22. OK, so let's do probability of the vehicle being a van given that the vehicle is black is the same as the probability of the van, the vehicle being a van and black all over the probability of being a black vehicle. So Probability of V and B, same as B and V, you can interchange them. It is going to be 3 out of 22. All over the probability of a black vehicle is 13 over 22. So keep change flip 3 over 22 times 22 over 13. 22s cancel out. I've got a probability of 3 over 13. So notice this does not equal the probability of V. So we're going to say since probability of van given black does not equal the probability of a van. B and V are dependent. Now let's take a look at it the other way around. We can go or. Let's do the probability of B given V. And that is going to be the probability of the van and black, black van, all over now. Now we're going to have in the denominator probability of it being a van. 
So probability of a black van was three out of 22. Probability of it being a van was three out of 22. Well, notice this is the same number over itself. You could keep change flip, it doesn't matter. You're gonna get one. When your probability equals one, that means your outcome is certain. You have a 100% probability of that occurring. And if we look here, notice that the vans in the parking garage, all of them are black. There's only three and every single one of them are black. Therefore, with this, it's 100% probability of that occurring. But still, going back to independent and dependent events, since we're going to say the probability of B given V does not equal the probability of event B. Oops, I forgot my does not. That means B and V are dependent. And now let's take a look at your try it. Again, I recommend pausing the video, giving it a shot, and then coming on back to check your work. So let R represent selecting a red vehicle and C represent selecting a car. Are the events R and C independent or dependent? Explain. So first thing I want to do, let's see, I'm looking at um, red vehicles and cars. So let's go the probability of a red car. Let's take a look. So red cars, I have a total of seven out of 22. And now let's do the probability of picking a car Okay, so now we're just looking at cars. So here's cars. I have a total of 11 cars in the parking garage out of 22. And now I want to do the union. Probability of it is red and a car. So let's see, red cars. Here's red, here's cars. I've got five. Uh, five out of 22 cars are red. Okay, so now let's run it through. Probability of red given it's a car. Okay, that is again going to be the probability of R and C divided by the probability of it being a car. RNC was five over 22. Probability of it being a car was 11 over 22. So this is going to equal five over 11. Now, since this does not equal the probability of it being red, these are not equal, therefore, the events are dependent. So we're going to say does not equal P of R. So it is dependent.